What's going on everybody? It's your boy Chris with Flip the World. You know we're at the bins where we spend little dinero and make mucho profitos. I don't even know if that's correct. It sounds like Cheetos with a P at the front. But let's get inside and see what we can do. It's cold and it's raining, but the parking lot's full. Got me parked back by the semis, but let's go make some money. So these by river like massaging, I don't know if you guys can see, they have like massaging things for your feet. They don't sell for really much used, maybe like 15. I just thought the whole, this red one right here apparently massages your genital glands. Say what? That's, that's, a, that's an awkward sandal. It's like purple suede velvet. Chucks, take those. So there's no baskets, so I'm gonna look up some of this stuff. I don't know what these are. They both have Disney Pirates of the Caribbean on them. I have no clue. I'm gonna look it up though. Oh, portable DVD player. Probably not worth anything. D7500 PDD. Oh, well. Two solds in the last 90 days. 50 and then 59.99. That one might be worth getting. That's why we're waiting for a card. I'm gonna try and find some stuff that I can uh, throw in people's carts. Because I have not forgot the game. Who wouldn't want to cross in that card? Well, so 2001, Indianapolis 500. It's a youth hat, but it's still vintage. I'm a sucker for hats, so. Couldn't get it. So I'm not finding the 2001, but like the 1998 Indianapolis 500 hat, $39.99 plus shipping. Of course, they took a best offer. The 99 one was like 25 bucks. So for the bins, it's worth getting. Now, of course, since it's a youth size or a small adult person head, it's not gonna sell for as much, but still should be able to get money. I can't find anything on these, and since these aren't actually wearable, I'm gonna toss them because sometimes, just because something's old doesn't mean that it is valuable. Stacy found another pair of the Twisted X steel toe shuckas. These are a little bit more aged or weathered, but leather's pretty easy to clean. Oh, this is a steel toe Doc Martin. It's a single, but I'm gonna keep it because I'm gonna determine to find that other one. There it is. Doc Martin steel toe industrial. They found a singles match. A pair has been made. I have the Holy Grail chalice, and I'm going to bless it into somebody's random cart. That cart at the end. So Stacy brought some Croc sandals. These vans, Kyle Walker, skateboarder. These, I always call them color block, but they're actually called Yacht Club. It's a single, but I'm gonna hold on to it. A 2X Hank Jr. shirt. I got whiskey bent with Hank. No, sir. No, no. And then a, I don't wanna say vintage, but it is a Russell. I think it is a vintage uh, Stanford University football jersey. So usually those uh, those prestigious universities sell pretty well. So we're gonna snag that. Vintage. 
wrench. See how I didn't have to attack it like a savage animal? Got two vintage like Little League. This is 1982. Little single stitch kittens. Southwest Houston 17. People are really into like the old. It's on a Russell Athletics tag, youth medium. Really cool. And then the other one is actually a Royals Junior Olympic ASA 1985 softball. It's a bigger size. And then this is the most interesting thing to me, just because I like old radio. Yo, shout out to that kid ruining my recording. At least the music's not loud. It's ICF-34. Oh, you like how he raised it up? ICF-34. Let's look it up. So ICF-34. $24.99 plus 15 shipping, 20 plus 10 shipping, 27 plus shipping, 15 plus shipping, 19 plus shipping. Got 16 sold. Let's see how many are listed. 100 listed. Okay, so the sell through rate sucks on this. Found this uh, OrthoFix cervical stem. It says RX only, so I don't think I can sell it on eBay, even though, of course, there are some sold. It's uh, $49.99. No, $49. They all sell for about $50. Bucks. Oh. Oh, oh. She's going crazy today. That manager don't play no games. Oh, Stacy brought up under the cabinet three disc CD Sony ICF CDK70. I know that like under the cabinet or under the counter uh, appliances sell well, but I'm not sure about CD players now that everybody has a phone with Spotify or Apple Music, but let's look it up. CDK 70. 109, 110, 110, 69 plus, 110. Okay. So let's see. Condition used, there's 24. And let's see what the. Let's see when you're listed. 24 and 14 listed, so that is good. Good. 24 divided by 14 times 100. 171 sell through rate. So I will go plug this in. Oh, that's a good sign. Let's see. Nice. Yeah, what they said. Let's try the radio. Vintage, spell out, Apex, Aggies, snapback. Obviously, vintage kids didn't pick it up because of the coloring, but you know what it is. All right, Stacy found a lot of VSX, Victoria's Secrets, like workout bras. Three different colors, different styles, all the same size. So we will sell that as a lot. That is an awesome score. And then look at all these electronics she just brought me. This thing. Still has the tags on it. So we're gonna look that up and then this old Super 8 and then there's a box for something with Olympus on it. Sony MVC dash FD 200. 45 plus shipping for pre owned. 24 plus shipping, 27 plus shipping. Oh, it's worth getting. The Penny Super 8 is cool, very nostalgic, but it does not sell for anything. If it was like a Canon or a, a Polaroid maybe, another brand it would be worth something, but Penny's, um, nothing. This manager ain't playing it here. Looks like it's a, a sealed, gigantic lens, so that's a plus. See a charger. camera's not in here we could probably still sell the lens and it doesn't look like the camera's in here so the lens itself is a nice Olympus lens 
We'll look that up. Olympus Digital 40-150 mm. I guess it goes to whatever that camera is. So it looks like the lens by itself might be about 45 to 50 bucks. So these feisty pets are worth about $15. His eyes are missing, but I just think they're hilarious. I hate you. I love you. I hate you. Just found this Nike XL 2000 Virginia Tech Mike Vick jersey. Looking it up, we got 166. 35 plus shipping, 75, 40 plus shipping, 40 plus shipping, 60 plus shipping, 40 plus shipping. Yeah. Got grass all over them. Tread's kind of gone, but we'll see what we can do. Guitars are the lowest selling. And this is the last call, so I'm gonna get it. I still love selling Wii guitars. I'm gonna try and put this in somebody's cart, see if they'll notice. So I found this like 48 inch vintage Sweetie Mind doll with tags. These go for about 55 plus shipping for the larger one. Transfer into this cart. The sell stuff. Stacy found two pairs of Dansko. On the uh, vintage Playboy shoes, obviously there's a lot of wear, but it looks like they had ripped and somebody just kind of melted them together. So, as cool as they are for like memorabilia with the little bunny, I'm probably going to chunk them back because that is. Definitely ripped all the way through and it's just been glued back together. So the Wii Les Paul guitar, it looks like they still go for like $36.99 plus shipping. So right around 50 bucks. So still a quick seller. So definitely gonna pick that up. And of course I found two more Astros jerseys for Marketplace. 832-822. Let's see guys. 832-822. I'm pretty sure 001 is the color for black with Nike. Pre owned 144, 50, 75, 59 plus shipping, 35 plus shipping, 80 plus shipping, 114 plus shipping, 75 plus shipping. Okay, well, maybe I will clean the bottoms up and see what I can get for them. Because uh, they're coming up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go find a brush in the bins and I'm gonna try and brush this grass off and see what they look like afterwards. But there's pretty much nothing on the bottom, so I don't really think it's worth my time. But I'll at least brush them off. I'd hate to leave them and they'd be worth something. The old stainless Farberware copper bottom. But we just say no to pots and pans in this household. So Stacy just brought over this boyfriend pillow it's like wearing a collared shirt and it has an arm it legit says boyfriend pillow on the tag I thought it was kind of a joke for like lonely single people but they actually sell for $24.95 plus shipping $26.99 plus shipping $39.95 plus shipping um, there's only five sold so we probably won't get it but yeah uh, if you're lonely and need uh, a cuddle buddy I guess drop a comment and maybe we'll send it to you. I mean, the shirt's detailed with buttons and a pocket. Uh, yeah. It makes me sad. Got some men's Polo Ralph Lauren swim trunks. Looks like a picnic table. These are easy to store and they usually sell for about 25 bucks. Of course, Stacy brings me this electronic engine control because she loves finding car stuff. Looks like this is for a 
Ford fuel injection system. It'll stay up. That's what she said. That's my joke. Damn it, Dwight. You have to throw it. Look it up. Electronic engine control breakout box. Yeah, this is better. I actually typed in the model number. We got 189 plus shipping, 150 plus shipping, 150, 125 plus shipping, 160, 175. So there's six results. Let's see how many listed. Three. So over, was that 200% sell through rate? That'll do, pig. That'll do. Came up on this Camelback, Camelback Rogue hydration. It does have the inflator. Obviously, I would hope someone would either sterilize that or get a new mouthpiece, but these usually go for about 25 plus shipping, 35, free shipping, 25 plus shipping, 25. And we got some Miss Me jeans, and I don't know what the hell that is. I'm going to move that. All right, YouTube, let's play a game. Is that blood, crayon, lipstick, poop? or other let me know in the comments i just wanted to show you guys you got these cortez obviously somebody took a hatchet to them but you see these little shoe tag emblems i do this for air force ones as well it's metal there's both of them and i don't know if you can see but they sell for about 15 to 17 and these sold for 17.99 plus 10 dollars shipping but always just sit here and pull those off and grab them they don't cost you much like 10 cents maybe but you can usually sell them pretty quick, especially the Air Force ones. So I'll pull these laces off and grab those. If I had a knife, I just cut it. But also another thing I do is I try to find shoelaces, usually black um, or colors that I don't have at the house. White are usually too dirty, but I will get uh, nice shoelaces as well. But yeah, pick up your tags. I almost forgot. There you go. Yeah, give me, give me a deal on that. I don't even know what it is. That makes two of us to yeah. and keep it pushing. Yes. Look, look, I, I came to Goodwill and found love. What the? Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. Why? You, it's got a shirt. But a, why? It's called uh -huh. a boyfriend pillow. I know, she's creepy. She really is. But she has you know, a tag. I don't want to charge you for clothing for her. Oh, I'm sorry. She's from, I she's from 1995. Makes me feel old. And forever. she sells for about 70. Really? Yes, ma'am. Shut the fuck up. Uh, no. I know. Kind of wrong profession, though. Yeah. <laughs> Give me but I'm glad you're here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You you try to keep keep them in line. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a good day. We'll see you again. Got everything spread out for you guys from our two day bin haul. We did about two hours on uh, the first day and then today we did about three hours so but let's look at what we got obviously shoes you saw the twisted x chuckas that's the second pair some jordans some suede vans some croc sandals some adidas two pair of dance goes the vans uh kyle walker pros just some nice like corduroy backed vans some little kid adidas like boost these are those doc martin steel toed industrials some crocs uh uh i don't know what those are called loafers some purple suede or purple leather converse some vionic sandals and then these are going to be probably like a cleaning project but they are some chuck all-star american flags so that's it for the shoes uh again realistically i usually look at things about 25 30 bucks obviously the boots are going to be a little more the dance goes will be a little more and the twisted x is going to be a little more we have a pile of astros jerseys in the back those again marketplace between 20 and 25 dollars the three sets of all same size victoria secrets workout bras sell that as a lot probably 20 40 60 so probably $49.99 plus shipping or free shipping for all three. Do somebody a deal. We got the vintage Aggie spell out and then the 2001 Indy 500 wraparound hat. Two pairs of jeans. We got the True Religion. Like I said, the horseshoe one usually does well. This one has some kind of like gold, like 
glitter effect going on with them. And then another pair of the Miss Me's. These are those, let's have a picnic in the pool, polo sport, swim trunks. And of course I had to pick up that boyfriend pillow, pillow, the boyfriend pillow. Got the camel back pack, camel pack, the in car back of the headrest DVD player set. There's two of those, they come together. They're from Disney, it's about 50 bucks. Of course you saw the under the cabinet Sony 3D changer. This is that Olympus long uh, lens. A two megapixel Sony camcorder, probably 35 bucks. We sell a lot of these boppets. This one is probably around 20 bucks. And then of course, today's electronic engine control breakout box finder for a Ford. Guitar Hero guitar, again I showed you, that's probably about 50. I got two jerseys. I didn't want to lay them on the ground, but I'm gonna do it anyway. The vintage Stanford University Russell Athletics. And then the 2000 era Virginia Tech Mike Vick on field Nike jersey. The last thing guys is this giant Sweetie Mine doll, or what did I say it was? Sweetie Mine, I nailed it. Today's total was 42 items that we were able to source between today and yesterday. Spent 100, like right at $118. It's like $117.69 or something like that. So our average buy cost per item is $2.79. I do believe once everything sells, we should be making around $13 to $1,400. So not bad. And that continues our goal of at least trying to source $1,000 worth of gross profit every time we go to the bins again right now we're currently only sourcing two times a week so if we're able to get 2,000 potential gross every week that's adding you know eight grand to our eBay store every month and as you continue to grow with quality items you're going to see higher payouts more sales etc etc the game's not hard it just takes work and that's where people get confused reselling is extremely easy it's very simple you find stuff for cheap and you sell it for more that's it no course needed but finding the stuff cleaning the stuff photographing the stuff listing the stuff shipping the stuff is where everybody gets all confused but it's really simple if you're new just keep going you're gonna make mistakes there's pros that still make mistakes hell I make mistakes usually every day but Every day's a new day, right? That's a positive way to end this, right? Sounds good. Every day's a new day. I'm still disabled. I'm still disabled. On Instagram, I'm still mad about that. If you got something to say, reach out in the comments or hit us up on our email, which will be in the description. Like, share, subscribe. Guys, thank you so much for supporting us. We'll see you on the next one.